Prayer is about uh, our relationship with God. Like any relationship, it requires time. It requires commitment. Some of us are used to praying on the run, but our relationship with God cannot flourish unless we find time to be fully present to God. Speaking and listening to one another, sharing silence or delight or sorrow. Intimacy through prayer grows when we invest in this kind of quality time, both in human relationships and in our relationship with God. We are never too busy to pray. We are just too busy. We must pray for no less a reason than our life depends on it. Jesus commanded us to pray. Thus, he promised to give us life, fulfilling life. And yet, we will only realize this promise when we live in sync with God, on God's terms, on God's time. Talking about God and time is a paradox. Time is created by God, yet God is not subject to time. God comes to us in time and space, in the now. This is why moments of prayer and worship are so important. In the midst of time, God interacts the now, the present, the moment, the you. Prayer opens the space needed for that encounter. You don't have to live in a monastery to set aside time for prayer. In fact, the busier we are, the more we must not our schedule get in the way of finding sacred time. Try this during Lent as a practical way of praying. On a daily basis, set aside some time when you will be simply and fully present to God, being available to God. Find a meaningful way to be there present with God, perhaps when you get out of bed. Decide how much time you will spend each day and stick to that time every day. You might want just to sit for a few minutes, consciously being still in the presence of God. At the end of the day, save some time to reflect on the day that has passed. Claim and name your gratitude. Acknowledge where you missed the mark. Ask God to take whatever residue may be weighing on you and let him calm the burden of the day. May God continue to guide your prayer throughout this Lenten season.